Hi guys, uh, for the past almost a month uh, we are all working uh, with that uh, Lentec Dracon uh, muzzle brake for the, this is a specific model for the AKM's uh, 7.62 by uh, 39 uh, cartridge uh, and this one is uh, with the 14-1 four, uh, left hand uh, thread so what you got in the package you are receiving of course a brake and then there is a crash, crash washer uh, which helps to secure the brake, uh, muzzle brake into the position at the front post. So uh, it differs from the original design. Uh, there is no notch for that uh, pin, spring loaded pin from the front post. Uh, as I said, they're using a crash washer. Uh, personally, I don't like that type of the solution. I rather to have the notches and uh, you know standard uh, or, or uh, regular AK. Uh, approach to the to the muzzle brake, but uh, in this in this case that crash washer was wor wor you know working really well. We didn't have any complaints. Once the brake was secured, uh, it stayed in a position and we didn't have to readjust it or anything. So from that angle, it works very well. Now we did uh, the multiple drills with it. The Dimas were uh, running that brake, and uh, everyone is rather satisfied with uh, the compensation. Uh, I mean, this brake is compensating really, really well. The recoil is uh, absolutely almost uh, minimal, and you, you know, there's not much where you can, where, where you can feel. Uh, there's no pushback or anything like it, and the muzzle rise is also uh, very minimal. We did our uh, measuring tape test, and uh, that brake performed uh, very, very well. There is no complaints. Uh, of course, we took the brake also to our famous uh, dark room and uh, lo and behold there is no surprise of course this brake produce, produces uh, flashes Paul you were a shooter uh, in that dark room uh, how was that side picture when that brake exploded? Uh, there's a little blinding effect to it as you get from most brakes uh, and again they have you know just the, the ribs on the side kind of blows it away doesn't really um, affect your firing eye, it's the non-firing eye that gets the, the blinding effect from it. That's a very interesting comment, so because we shoot with both eyes open, so you're saying that your left eye was more affected than the right eye. Yeah. Uh, and yeah. Uh, well, this, so this is something what you gotta watch out then guys for it, especially in these uh, dark conditions, if you are using, if you decide to use this uh, muzzle brake, that probably your left eye uh, will have a problem adjusting to the darkness. Also, uh, what we did and I, what I could feel when I was filming you shooting uh, on our side wave pressure test, uh, this brake uh, produces a, a tremendous side wave pressure. So I was hit again with the, with the blown air and uh, we could see that our uh, AK operator's union head was spinning on our head. Uh, and uh, unfortunately again, this is because of that design, because of these ribs, basically that energy has to go somewhere. Uh, again guys, uh, it's a good brake, not perfect uh, muzzle brake, and again we are facing uh, the dilemma, you know, you always got that problem, if the brake is compensating really, really well, there is an issue with, with, the, uh, with the flash hiding. But as I said before, uh, probably the only solution for this would be to carry on you um, another flash hider for these uh, dark, uh, dark moments or uh, night and then just swap it uh, from the brake to the flash hider. Other than this, I, I, I you know, really, we have reviewed already so many different muzzle devices and it's either this or that. Uh, we, haven't, we haven't seen one yet, which would combine all the futures uh, together. It is what it is. All right, guys, uh, thanks for watching. Please let us know if you have any questions.